What is good? Diamond Nine is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be reacting to today. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Tell the angel mommy to tell the uncle Joe. We still hope. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. So it appears that Regine may have slipped up <clears> and <throat> let it be known that Armand has been spending the night at her house. Let me get back. I'm hot, hot, hot because my aunt Come on now. We knew they weren't going nowhere, man. Please let me know in the comment section down below. Did you guys think that Armand and Regine were done? I done told y'all a long time ago. They still going to be fucking with each other, man. All right? They just don't want us to know about it. The show is about to air, and they don't really want to tell us shit. But, of course, there's going to be hints here and there, you know what I'm saying? Just to spark our interest and shit like that and our curiosity. But like I told y'all, man, they are not going anywhere anytime soon. We're just going to have to see how it pans out, though, man. You know? just was all I could be wrong. I'm going to just say that. <laughs> spending the night at her house. Let me get back. I'm hot, hot, hot because my air just was on 80 degrees. Don't know why. Don't know who. Mm. But that's what it was on. This girl here said... Don't know why. Don't know who. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I get. To I can't be in no hot ass house. Now let me just say this. I'm kind of weird because in the daytime, I don't mind the house being hot unless you're in Texas in this hundred degree fucking weather. All right. If it's a normal chill day, I don't mind it being hot in the house when I'm up. Right. But when I'm going to sleep, nigga, when it's sleeping hours, I need this shit to be on ice, fucking freezing cold. 67 degrees is what I put my shit on every single night. 67, you know? So let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. What do you like to set your temperature to while, you know, like it's the daytime, regular day, <clears throat> regular day, not no 100 degree fucking weather. 100 degree weather here in Dallas, you better put your fucking AC on. You know what I'm saying? But... At nighttime, how do you guys feel? You know, do y'all... Because some people like it hot and sweating. Like, what the fuck, nigga? I'm already hot enough. Like, I produce a lot of body heat myself. So I feel like that's why I need the shit to be cold as fuck. Let me know how y'all feel, man. Distract so easy. And what is this Michael Jackson beat shit she got going on here? What is this? What is this? What is this, Reggie? Get back. I'm hot, hot, hot because my <laughs> air just was on 80 degrees. Don't know why. Don't know who. Yeah. But that's what it was on. Who could it be, right? <laughs> Sorry, I get distracted so easily. So I'm going to try a new... So the mm -hmm. comments were saying things like, so mm -hmm. who had your thermostat on 80? Right. I love how she gets... How, how can you bust your joint down in 80 degree weather inside the crib, bro? It's too fucking hot, man. Come on now. Gives her true supporters, Nebe's clues without saying too much. We just gonna let the naysayers keep assuming on Twitter. And another commenter stated, Now why now did why Armand, Armand have, have your the thermostat, thermostat that, that high? high? Silly tell self. So then Armand went on to Twitter. That nigga anemic or something, nigga. Twitter and he stated, No air while I sleep, please. I'll wake up sick as the dog. Now I'm gonna say this, like, I don't like the fan. I can't sleep with the fan fan on some people love to have the fan on i can't sleep with the fan on i'll wake up like he said not sick but my nose will be all fucked up i'll be congested and all types of shit so i cannot sleep with the fan keep it nice and toasty through this mf Hell and nah, by that nigga. time people already that shit weird as fuck imagine fucking and then going to sleep and it's hot as shit. Like, come on, bro. Uncomfortable as hell. New. They're commenting 80 degrees, right? <laughs> and, oh, we know. Hence, that's why the AC was on 80. So you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Do you guys feel like Armand was at Regine's house? And he's the one that had the temperature. Yep. They fucking at 80 degree weather, y'all. Set that Tough. high. Or was Inside. that just a coincidence? Nah, Leave your no opinions on that down in the comment section below. Let's <coughs> move on to this next topic with Realty and her male friend Rico. So if you her male friend, that is funny. You guys didn't know Rico has a baby mama named Iceland. Man, they look like they wear the same size and jeans. Now Iceland, Realty, and Rico were all cool. Well, it Wait, hold on. Rico. So if you guys didn't know, Rico has a baby mama mm. named Iceland. That's her. Now Iceland, Royalty, and Rico were all cool. Well, it appears 
that Rico and Iceland have split up. Mm -hmm. They did unfollow each other on Instagram as well as Iceland went onto Instagram and she posted me and my bestie when I finally left that N word alone. And as you can see, she also shows her radio mm -hmm. he wasn't man, he enough, wasn't man me. enough for me by Tony Braxton. So maybe those were a few shots towards royalty. Now <laughs> royalty actually Now she pulled out the Tony Braxton. That's crazy. Actually unfollowed her on Instagram. Although Iceland at the moment is still following royalty, royalty decided to hit that unfollow button mm. after Rico and Iceland separated. Mm. So you guys leave your opinions on that. She's staying true to her man, huh? Down in the comment section below. Now, I do want to speak on this next topic with Carmen and Corey. Corey recently surprised Carmen with flowers, and she stated, I just want to say thank you, my love. I love these roses, even though your moment of... That boy Corey was sweating, man. He's seen that blind date. I'm going to keep saying that he's seen that blind date. He's seen that another nigga was giving her butterflies and making her blush and smile and laugh and all of that shit, right? Then nigga had to come with the roses again, you know? It's like every time Carmen starts to slip from his grip, he does something like this, you know? Delivering them to me got interrupted. And I'm surprised these ain't $100 bills. Come on, Corey. You couldn't on, take man. my smile away. Now, the <clears throat> Shade Room teens did repost this, and people in the comment section weren't feeling it. They were saying mm. things like... Exactly. The $1 bills is pissing me off more. Come on now. You always like to flex, bro. Where's the hundreds? Like, I was rooting for her, and I don't know if it's Carmen or the dollar <laughs> bills that's... Y'all just smiling now. It's crazy. ...pissing me off more, <laughs> and Carmen don't piss me oh, off. Oh, my throat. Y'all just smile oh. and nod. Someone else says... If y'all post it again, again I'm gonna I'm block y'all. Now let's move on Yo. to this next topic with CJ So Cool. Now he recently did a video <laughs> showing up at his grandma's house, basically gonna up, surprise granny? her with a home renovation. Well, people in the comment section had a few things to say about CJ renovating his grandma's house. Someone states, well, you do like to brag and showboat your money to people you barely even know, buying them designer this, designer that. So yes, it's sad that her house look the way that it does i'm gonna also say this though yeah the house looks let me see let me see before i say too much i mean <clears throat> i can't really see much but you know i will say this man a lot of people you know family members or whatever the case is a lot of the times y'all i can't even say a lot of the times but sometimes People don't want to change their shit, you know, especially older people. You would think that they would want something better. Like, look, I got money now. Now I can help you. You'll be so surprised that some of these people that you want to help out don't even want the help. They want to stay in that position, right? They want to fucking, you know, whatever the case is. So, yeah, you could help a family member out. You can help granny out, you know. But what if nothing's wrong with the house as far as plumbing, as far as the roof, as far as, you know, stuff like that, pipes and shit like that? What if everything is good and she just wants her house to stay like that? I know plenty of older people, especially, who are stuck in their ways. And even if they do have a broke down, shabby ass house, they love that motherfucker, boy. They will not sell it for a, a new house, right? So we also have to keep that in mind, too. I'm not saying that that is the case, but, you know, I don't want to be biased and just say that he's just, you know like doesn't pay for anything type shit you know but anyway it seems like he left a comment here so what he say um well i appreciate your long comment and you watching my video but trust me if i show you my bank account transactions between my grandmother and i you will want to delete this comment i've already tried to move her with me she insists on staying there i'm telling y'all man it's a fact you know like i've tried to help people before i'm not gonna like put my business out there but i've tried to help people before get in better situation it's just like you just want to stay there like are you sure type shit so it's just like you know you just have to realize that some people especially older folks you know they love their home they love where they are they don't want to move anywhere else you know what i'm saying like they want to die there you know i know that sounds crazy but they 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 just love that shit so i mean you can only do so much. And if that's where they're happy, then home is where the heart is. You know what I'm saying? Corny as it sounds, home is where the heart is. You know, and if their heart is that shabby ass house, that's exactly where they're going to be, you know? Um, and that's all that should matter. 
And it's so, so funny how everybody else thinks that they know so much about somebody else's life. But anyway, I can't blame them, though, because, like, you put everything on the fucking internet. I just pay all her bills every month instead of, instead, and every, yeah, I, I feel that. I came home, she wasn't there, so the speeding pass is a joke, but I'm not offended. I bought her a car, shopping sprees, new phone. You ain't even got to say all this, but I feel you, though, you know, because niggas trying to play you. But anyway, uh, yeah. Let me know how y'all feel, though. I was just saying that, though. Um, well, you do like to brag and show Bo, blah, 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 she deserves it, da, 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 okay. Um, yeah, so, yeah, man, some people are, especially, like I said, older folks are just stuck in their ways, man, and, and even though this shit might be nicer, they don't care about nice, they care about their comfort zone, they care about, you know, like, where they grew up, or they just care about their own shit. They want their own shit, you know, and, and they're gonna keep it by any means necessary. So, ain't shit going on in yeah, here, man. Point. CJ just being a uh, a daddy and shit. Anyway, guys, <laughs> let me know how y'all feel. Like I said, man, when it comes to the grandma situation, like I just know plenty of people, you know. Even younger people, too, they just want to get it on their own. They don't want a handout type shit. So you just never know people's situations, guys. So, you know, even though you see majority of his life, right, it doesn't mean that you know everything, you know, that happens behind the scenes. But let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. What else did we talk about, y'all? Uh, oh, yeah, Armand and Regine. Let me know how y'all feel about that. We all know they still fucking around, man. I guess we're going to have to see, you know, whenever their show drops and stuff like that will really happen. But like I said, that shit is stage two. So, of, of course, it's going to be, like, elements of realness in there, too. But it's also going to be some scripted shit. So, ain't no telling what's going to be scripted and what's really real. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell that ain't your mama to tell that Uncle Joe he's still a mother freaking hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.